Hello guys and welcome back to Ginge Under the Sea. Thank you very much for joining me. Today we are doing our first Sunday conservation video. I really hope you enjoy it. Today we are going to be talking about the shark fin industry. Why it happens, how it happens and what you guys can do to try and impact that industry. So let's dive straight in. So first of all, what is shark finning for those of you who don't already know? So shark finning is the act of pulling up a shark on a boat, whether it's from a net or from a line, removing its fins, which will be its peck fins, its dorsal fin, and sometimes its caudal fin, and then throwing that shark back into the ocean. The majority of the time, the sharks are still alive after this finning process, and the sharks will get thrown back into the ocean, basically to drown as they no longer can swim, so they will just sink to the bottom of the ocean. So needless to say, this is a massively damaging, destructive and cruel activity. It has been well researched that sharks and fish do feel pain in very much the same way that birds and mammals do. So there is no doubt that sharks will be feeling an immense amount of pain when they are being finned like this and obviously a lot of suffering when they get thrown back in the ocean, still alive to slowly drown. So not only is this immensely cruel, it's also hugely wasteful. Shark fins only make up about one to 5% of the whole shark, depending on the species. So therefore, the vast majority of the shark is wasted when they throw it back in the ocean. So it's massively, massively wasteful because all they want to keep is the shark fin. It is killing many, many millions of these massively important predators that are in our oceans. And it is extremely cruel and is causing a lot of suffering to animals unnecessarily. So what is the purpose of shark finning? It is to supply the cartilage inside the shark fins for a dish called shark fin soup. Now shark fin soup is a delicacy that is served in Asian cuisine as a sign of status, wealth, or prosperity and good luck. Now it is usually served at events such as weddings and banquets and other big fancy events. And again, it is just to show off how wealthy or to wish good luck to the people eating it. So this is completely pointless. For one, it does not add any nutritional value to the soup. Also, the shark fin does not add any flavor. In fact, shark fin soup often has chicken broth or pork broth added to it to give it flavor. And also it's in fact possibly damaging to human health. There have been many, many studies showing that shark products contain a very high level of mercury, which is extremely damaging to human health. The demand for shark fin soup has been gradually rising over the last 30 to 40 years due to the increased size of the middle class in Asia. So with a huge amount more people being able to afford this delicacy, more people are ordering it. So it is becoming a more affordable and a more common dish to have. Now this is not just an Asian problem, as much as it's just in Asian cuisine, this is still served around the world. There are plenty of restaurants and suppliers in America, in Europe, all around the world. It is still a global problem. So let's look at some of the numbers. It is predicted that between 73 to 100 million sharks are killed every year for shark finning alone. So that the act of shark finning has been made legal across a lot of countries around the world, but unfortunately there are a lot of loopholes left in legislation, which means that this still happens on a vast, vast scale around the world, either illegally still or legally using those loopholes. For example, Portugal is one of the biggest exporters of shark fin to Asia, and they in fact export on average 17,000 tons of shark fin to Asia every single year. So this is not just a problem in Asia, this is a global problem and we need to start fighting and showing that this is not an acceptable practice and this is not an acceptable food to be serving that is destroying populations of massively important, amazingly involved predators in the ocean. And the restrictions around the world are just not strong enough. For example, you are allowed to enter a European Union country with 20 kilograms of shark fins. 20 kilograms, that's like, that's a whole suitcase full. Our suitcases, when we fly off, suitcases are usually around 20 kilos, right? And you are allowed to bring a whole suitcase worth of shark fins for what is termed as personal consumption. Now, if you think about the number of people that are entering and leaving the EU every day, you can imagine the huge, huge amounts of shark fins that still can be transported around the world and into the European Union. And just to put it in perspective, you are only allowed to bring in two kilograms of fruit and veg into the EU 
but yeah, you could bring in 20 kilos of shark fins, okay? And this is just completely unacceptable and it needs to be changed. And this brings us onto our next topic, which is how can you get involved? So first of all, get involved with petitions and campaigns that are pushing to increase the laws and regulations on import and export of shark fins. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two different petitions that you can sign in the description below. The first one is for UK citizens. The next one is for EU citizens. Please click on the link that refers to you and go on there, sign a petition, share that with friends, family, get as many people as you know to sign these petitions. We need to start showing governments that this is a really important topic for us and they need to be changed. And it should not be allowed that this much shark fin is allowed to come in and out of the UK or other EU countries every day, encouraging and aiding the shark fin industry. Another thing you can do is avoid supporting any restaurants or any companies that encourage the consumption of shark fin or any other shark products. So as I mentioned, this is not just a problem in Asia. There are plenty of restaurants in Europe and America that serve shark fin soup. So if you do ever find these restaurants that serve shark fin soup, please do not support them. And if you wanna go the extra mile, actually contact that restaurant and let them know why you're no longer supporting them. And the last thing you do is get more informed. So a few films that I would recommend if you want to learn more about the shark fin industry and shark conservation in general is Shark Water and Shark Water Extinction, two brilliant films by Rob Stewart, Saving Jaws, another great film by Ocean Ramsey, and finally Shark Girl by Madison Stewart is also a brilliant film really looking in the conservation of sharks. So I'm going to put the links to how you can watch those films below. Please go and watch those films, sign the petitions, get involved, start showing governments, start showing public that this is an important matter and we need to start changing it soon. So that is it for the shark fin video. I hope you learned a lot and are inspired to make a change. If you did get some value from this video, then please give it a like so that I know that you've enjoyed it. Also post a comment saying what you enjoyed most or any other information that you have that could benefit people. And then don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you can continue watching all of my videos that I'm posting every week. And finally, check out my Timo store and see my clothing range. By buying some of these products, you are not only supporting me, but you are also supporting sustainable fashion as all of these clothes are made in an environmentally friendly way. So thank you so much for joining guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to give me a like if you got some value out of this and click the subscribe button to catch my later videos. See you in the next one. Bye guys.